Hello friends, welcome back. So now um, let's talk about behind the scenes, how um, the WordPress cron runs or executes, right? From like starting point to the end point, right? Okay, so uh, for that, let me just go through a one by one step. So here uh, you can see the WP cron. Since I have already explored before preparing this video, so I know that so I'm simply giving you the direct point okay so from where at which point the wordpress cron execution will be started on the page load okay so this wp cron function uh, execute this underscore wp cron function this is our private function okay so this wp cron function uh, executed on the init hook so if you go here and uh, so here you can see the add action right on an init hook um, under the default filters.php file in, under the wp includes folder okay so if the doing cron constant is not set then and then only this will set because cron event or executed on the page load okay so um, just to to prevent this uh, loop execution loop uh, we are uh, the verb is checking whether the current request is doing the cron event or not right so uh, so like uh, Currently, WordPress cron event uh, execute on the like WordPress create call the HTTP call make HTTP call uh, to the uh, WordPress WP dot the hyphen cron dot PHP file. Okay, and again, so to prevent that loop, uh, this constant uh, is uh, used to check whether the current request has been doing a cron or not. Okay, if it's doing, that we don't have to call that uh, like WordPress cron events again and again, right? so um don't worry we will see in the next in the next steps how what i am talking about okay so on an init hook this function will be executed okay and so init hook execute uh, init action will be execute on every page load right so um this function will be execute and it will check whether wp loaded action have been executed or not okay so if it's execute uh wp loaded uh, uh, uh action then it will simply make a wp cron function call else it will hook that function on the wp loaded okay and then it will be executed and wp loaded action execute after the init hook uh, action okay so you can simply resist the wp cron to run and if the wp loaded action has already fired then this function calls the wp cron function directly okay and some of the warning have been provided and there are few changes have been made on 5.1 version and 5.7.0 version about okay so that we that you can go through it okay so let's go to the wp cron function and here it says prevent infinite loops caused by the lack of wp cron.php file so it will simply check whether the current request is not if it's a wp cron.php event uh, file um, and then if the disable wp cron uh then it will simply return zero that means if the current request is the wp cron.php file okay and either if the disabled wp cron has constant has been set to true then it will simply return zero that means no uh like we have disabled the wordpress cron events okay so the wordpress cron uh events won't be executed on the page load okay if the current request is wp cron.php file or the disabled wp cron event has been scheduled uh, or sorry constant has been set okay um then it will simply get ready cron jobs okay so it this function wp get ready cron job function will get uh, the list of the return the uh, array of the cron job okay which are due to run okay or ready to run like their time has come <laughs> okay so uh this pre get ready cron jobs filter so it's like filter to pre-flight or hijack retrieving the ready cron job so if you want to if you have some different thing and if you do not want to rely on the, this uh default uh like cron list from the options table then instead of that you can use this filter okay so like using these filters uh we have seen some of the pre uh pre underscore filters in the scheduling and unscheduling event as well right so using those filters if you want to implement different approach for managing the cron events wordpress cron events that you can do okay so now this function will simply get the cron array so like from this options uh, the cron option it will get list of the cron or scheduled events okay 
and then it will check whether the uh, cron event timestamp and the current global time time uh, global time uh, if it's greater than the global time that means it's a break their their event is still in the future like it's not time to run right it's not a due now but if it's less than than the current global time then it will simply uh, return the result array so it will get all the uh, cron hooks all the event hooks it needs to be executed okay so um, and then um, so sorry uh, okay let me just go back here okay so this function are not here uh, still uh, yeah so this function now we uh, know that if it will check whether the current uh, like loop through all the cron events checking whether there is a due for the any existing uh, events if it's due then it will simply return that uh, due uh, events okay and then this uh, uh, checking again here checking uh, about making sure that we are not executing it and um, that list of the cron events the array will be sorted based on the timestamp okay so if first uh, array or uh, first cron is not due then other crons also not because it's set it in uh, it's or it's ordered into the uh, it's a sorted into uh, from descending to ascending kind of uh, array okay so uh, and wp get schedules um, then it will simply get the list of the schedules then it will check is there any callback function or register to the schedules uh, and if it's not then simply it will make a call to spawn uh, spawn cron i uh, sorry i like not pronounced this function correctly but spawn cron okay so this function will now go to like go to that function and here we are check, uh, getting if the global time has not passed then it will take a, again the global time then checking whether the current request is still doing a cron and if there is any get um, query string uh, set at doing wp cron okay if it's done then return simply false because the still current request is uh, the cron request so we don't want to like go into the infinite loop okay and then it will get the transient doing cron so this this is the cron lock okay to prevent the execution of the multiple crons right so if one cron event is executing then if and if an, uh, if another request come to the wp cron.php file then it won't be executed because the previous cron event still cron request is still um, uh, executing or in, is still in it's a running okay so it's using the get transient doing cron so get the cron lock which is a unique uh, unique time step of when the last cron was spawned like means been executed and has not finished the running right yet okay so if the finishing is running then it will simply delete the transient okay so so it will remove the cron uh, lock okay so let's say first on the like there is a re first request on wp like for chronic uh, execution then we uh, the uh, it will set the uh, do, doing cron the, it will create a lock so in and during that uh, first request execution if another request is come then it will simply um, won't execute because previous cron is still working it, it's in a uh, execution progress okay so you can go through this like later on as well to understand the logic and everything okay so i'm just skipping for few things uh, for now okay then um so it will get another ready crons right and simply doing the checking and then if the alternate wp cron i will come later so if this constant has been set then uh, so there are two ways to run the the wordpress cron event execute so if this alternate wp cron event uh const not event sorry constant has been set to true then it will make a wp redirect to the current request okay so let's say i'm visiting the home page okay assuming i'm visiting the home page and then this constant has been set to true alternate wp cron event set to true then uh, it will start buffering okay then it will make a wp redirect call to our home page again on the same home page request it will get the buffer of the output about the wp redirect output and then included wp cron.php file and return a true so it will be not an asynchronous request okay so when the home page or any other page loaded and if this constant is set to true on the same on the same page load the wordpress cron will be executed so it's not an asynchronous process it's a synchronous process okay but currently this constant has not set in my local system so this won't be executed okay i will uh, come to this part also like why uh, we, we should uh, avoid alternate wp cron okay 
and if that constant is not set to true then again it will create a log value using the current timestamp okay and then it will set a transient again so we have set the log okay so that we can prevent uh, other request to execute because current request still in progress and then it will apply the filter cron request so this filter you can use to change the url so here you can see the wp cron.php using the site url so it will be a learn like in my website learn wp.t slash wp cron.php file and this php file will be here into the root folder so if you go to here you can see in the root folder wp cron.php file okay so um here so that url will be created and it's set uh, doing wp cron with the, this value um and uh, uh, set the query string okay and then the arguments time out whether it's a blocking or not and then once this request come it will make a wp remote post so it will make a post request to wp cron.php file okay with the given arguments like time out whether it's a blocking or not and so using this making the making the wp remote request uh, post request to the same site okay uh, to the same site for the wp cron.php file and after making this request it will uh, it's not a blocking we have said it's not a blocking so it will make a call and then simply return and then it will output the uh, whatever the page request has been done so on a home page if on on every page load like for example on a home page like i have as an user i have visited the home page okay uh, WordPress will check whether any uh, cron events has been due to run. If it's there any uh, uh, events needs to be run, then it will make this WP remote post call to WP cron.php so that the due events can be executed separately by making the remote API request. Okay, but it will simply return because it's not a blocking. So it will simply return by after making the call, it will return and then the, whatever the uh, current request page content will be displayed. Like I visited, I visited the home page, so home page will be displayed. But it won't. So this uh, cron execution process won't be blocked for the user okay so uh, so by making the remote api request so now here you can un understand why the cron event or uh, cron log has been needed um, then why we are checking whether the doing cron constructs has been set or not because again it making the request to wp cron.php where the w uh, wordpress will also load and perform things and uh, our actions and filters will be executed and that's why we are making uh, checking if the current request is doing the cron execution then we don't want to uh, again uh, register the actions and filters and few other things to to go into the infinite loop okay so that's why so here and this is the main difference here in the alternate wp cron if that uh, set it through then it won't make any http call it will redirect uh, make a caller redirect and get the whatever outputs are there okay and set a buffer and flush it so it will send the header and send the headers like including the response and everything and then again executing the wordpress cron okay like load that file so that the cron scheduled events uh, will be executed if there is a due and then simply die like uh, like finish the request right but this will be a uh, like a synchronous you cannot on synchronous so for example if i set this function to true and go to the wp config.php file here so let me just define this define this function here okay and into the terminal if i run wp cron test it says warning the alternate wp cron constant is set to true wp cron spawning is not a, a synchronous right but our spawning is working still as expected and that's why it's a asynchronous like it's like uh, it will be executed on the same page right and it will become a slow if uh, if the execution of the uh, execution of the cron events taking more time all right so that's why we we should avoid this alternate wp cron okay and now since i have removed it and if i make again the trace then it will simply say work, working as expected and there is no warning because now WordPress cron execution is the asynchronous, right? By making the remote API call. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.